Hey guys, welcome back. This is Carson Cloud. So another video. In this video, I'm going to do a demo on upgrading Windows 10 LTSC to Windows 10 Enterprise. This is going to be an in-place upgrade. So there's no hard drive format. There's no C drive wipe. No nothing. It's the way. The user data will will not be touched. So this is an in-place upgrade. All right, now let's get started. So as you can see here, the Microsoft article talks about Windows 10 upgrade path. And it's talking about Windows 10 LTSC and LTSB change name. And also some information here that you cannot upgrade Windows 7 to Windows 10 LTSC. Although with Windows 10 Enterprise 2016, LTSB can upgrade to Windows 10 Enterprise 16 or 17 or later. So if you have Windows 10 LTSB, you should be able to upgrade. And the command line with um, but part of your installation you have to use these code here so I'm going to show you that right now um, let's get started first of all I need to go into my test device so I think this one is LTSC let's log in Yep, so it's Windows 10 Enterprise LTSC. It's 18.09. And I'm going to upgrade this to Windows Windows 10 1903 Enterprise. And also, if you look here, it's LTSC as well. <clears throat> All right, let's, let's go into the SECM admin console. I'm going to create a package. So you want to go to software library and I'm under operating system. You want to go to operate operating system upgrade package. I'm going to right click add operating system upgrade package. This is the path where all the um, the files are. Here's my 1903 default setup. I'm going to paste that here. It's going to be x64, and the language is English. Oops. I'm going to choose English, United States. So the upgrade package, it has to be the original uh, Microsoft setup. It cannot be a custom uh, WIM file. You cannot do an in-place upgrade with a custom WIM file that is not supported by Microsoft. Let's click next. So call this Windows 10 1903 Enterprise in place upgrade put a dash here. Okay. I'm going to click next and next. And don't forget to distribute to your um, VP. You got to right click, distribute content, click next, choose my DP, <clears throat> click OK, and next. So that's all there is to it creating an update package or an, up, an, up, um, an in place upgrade um, package. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to create a test sequence to do an in-place upgrade. I'm going to right click on test sequence, create test sequence. So it's going to be a third option here, upgrade an operating system from an upgrade package. Make sure you choose this one. I'm going to click next, 
so it's call windows 10 ltsc in place upgrade to enterprise 1903 oops too long Let's call it upgrade and then 1903. Looks good. I'm going to click next. I want to choose the operating system. There it is. So it's going to be your enterprise. Oops. Enterprise. I'm going to click next. I'm not going to install any updates. Click next. I'm not going to install any applications. I'm going to click next and next. Click close. Let's refresh. Here it is. I'm going to right click and go to edit. everything here um, looks good I don't need to do anything I need to make I don't need to make changes it is good for now the operating system I need to enter the product key and according to Microsoft let me see here where's the um, So according to this article, you have to use this um, this key here. I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to put it in the product key. Paste it. I'm going to click Apply. And click OK. Now I need to deploy. You want to right click, deploy, collections. I'm just going to put in all system collection. Click OK. I'm going to click next. It's going to be available. So it's going to be only configuration manage match client that's this is the only options available click next and next everything here should be as default you don't need to make any changes there distribution point download uh, contents locally i'm going to check this in case um we have uh, some kind of um laundry issue so I'm going to check these two boxes click next and next close so now let's go into the test machines I should see the deployment shows up I'm going to force the policy Click on action and then machine retrieve, machine policy retrieval. Click run now. Okay. Now let's go into the software center. It's probably going to take a few minutes. Um, let's give it some time. All right. Let's take a look here. not here yet I'm gonna try I'm gonna try to force the policy again
All right, so the, the deployment is now available. So now I'm ready to upgrade the Windows 10 LTSC to Windows 10 Enterprise. I'm gonna click on it and click on install. Confirm. It's running. It's doing the prereqs. It's downloading the WIM file. So the upgrade here, I think it's going to take about 30 minutes or maybe less, 20 minutes. Let's see. All right, it's running the next actions. It's upgrading or upgrade operating system. Let's see if I click on this one, what do I get? Uh, just the same screen here. Move this down below. So basically, this is very simple to do. Um, let's look at the test sequence again. And this is really um, a short test sequence. All it is, is just, you gotta put this key in there. It's provided by Microsoft. If you look at the upgrade, it will not, up, it will not upgrade to enterprise without this key so you got to make sure you have that key in your test sequence so it's going to take a while um, I'm going to pause the recording and welcome back all right look like um, it's at 14%, as you can see here, Windows Upgrade Progress. We had 66%. All right, it's getting close. All right, I'm going to restart.
All right, look like the upgrade is completed. I'm going to log in. Cool, look like it's successfully upgraded. Let's check the operating system versions. Let's tap in Winbo. All right. There's no longer LTSB or LTSC, Windows 10 Enterprise. Let's look at the control panel. Windows 10 Enterprise. That's it. Thank you for watching. And if you guys like my video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and have a great day.